All right, so you guys recognize this machine. This is my Tundra. Last winter, it sat right over there by that cabin almost all winter because of carburetor issues. It took me most of the winter to get the parts to fix it. It sat out there and that's where I had to work on it, was right outside. Why? Because I don't have a garage. This is Yamaha Kodiak and it's in one of the woodsheds. Why? I don't have a garage and I don't have a workshop. I'm gonna work on the carburetor. I'm not gonna try to do it out here. If I drop some, I've lost it. All right, you guys have seen this area. Chickens were here, and then it turned into an area where I was cutting the barrels with the chicken roof. I decided the area would be best suited for a garage. The floor is not structural. This is a pole barn, so there is no support given from having a floor. I decided I'm gonna rip it all out and bring it all down to dirt. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the destruction. I mean, the build. All these floor planks, as well as the joists, are going to be used in another build that we've got coming up this summer. So make sure you stick around and uh, catch that one here soon. Yes, guys, I am using an old high load bumper jack and it works great. That old jack has saved me quite a few times out here on this property from getting snow machines unstuck to getting four wheelers unstuck and fixing tires. I love it. Only thing I wish is that was about 10 pounds lighter. I need to find an aluminum one someplace. I'm sure I'll find one someday.
we can see we get the side by side in here. Yep, I right, just the door with the side by side. If Sarah sees this, I'm going to be in trouble. It's in the garage. Inches to spare. <laughs> but it's it. Well, another project done. I'm glad to have that one done. Now we have a place to do all the work on all of our machines that we have. Currently, however, I'm going to keep the side-by-side -side in there. As you guys know, that was Sarah's birthday present this past year. We want to make sure that it stays protected and kept clean and not chewed on by the bears. Over this summer, we do intend to build another garage to house each of the pieces of the machinery that we have, whether it be the side-by-side, -side, the four-wheelers, the snow machine. They're all going to have their own little space. That way, they're protected in and out of season. We will be setting the date for our next live in May sometime in the next two weeks, so make sure you check in and find out when that's going to be we'll also be doing some pop-up lives between now and then as sarah and i do intend to take the train down to seward to check out that area well that's it for now so you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one take care bye